The Galaxy S25 Ultra is shaping up to be one of the most anticipated smartphone releases of 2025. Samsung has yet to make any official announcements, but thanks to multiple credible leaks, we now have a clearer idea of what to expect from the next generation flagship. One of the most significant changes to the Galaxy S25 Ultra appears to be in its design. According to the leaks, Samsung is ditching the boxy frame with sharp corners and opting for a flatter frame with more rounded edges. The front and back panels are expected to be flat, offering a more modern and cohesive look that aligns with the rest of the flagship series. The design changes don't stop there. The Galaxy S25 Ultra will reportedly feature camera rings with fine ridges around the lenses, similar to what we've seen on the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Another notable feature is the S Pen, which will still be integrated into the Ultra model. Early renders suggest that the holster for the S Pen will remain on the left side of the device, much like its predecessor. In terms of size, the S25 Ultra is said to be slightly slimmer and narrower than the Galaxy S24 Ultra, thanks to its narrower titanium frame. Measuring 162.8 x 77.6 x 8.2 millimeters, it will have a sleek appearance while retaining the same premium build quality. Moving on to the display, rumors suggest that the Galaxy S25 Ultra will have a slightly larger screen than the Galaxy S24 Ultra, measuring 6.9 inches compared to the previous 6.8 inches. The bezel size has reportedly been reduced contributing to this larger display without significantly increasing the overall size of the phone. Samsung's anti-reflection coating, which was introduced on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, is expected to make a return. This feature dramatically reduces glare and reflections, making viewing the display in bright conditions easier. When it comes to display technology, Samsung could use M14 OLED panels for the Galaxy S25 Ultra, which would offer higher brightness and efficiency than the M13 panels found in the S24 Ultra. Reports indicate that the brightness could surpass the S24 Ultra's impressive 2,600 nits. Other display specs are likely to include a QHD Plus resolution, a variable refresh rate of 1 to 120 Hz, and an LTPO backplane. There's been considerable speculation about what chipset will power the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Some rumors suggest that Samsung may use the Exynos 2500 in select regions and the Snapdragon 8 Elite in others. However, many expect Samsung to equip all S25 Ultra models with the Snapdragon 8 Elite, offering top-tier performance across the board. In terms of memory, the Galaxy S25 Ultra could see a jump to 16GB of RAM, although a 12GB option might still be available. Storage options will likely include 256GB, 512GB, and a massive 1TB variant. Battery life is another area where Samsung is sticking to what works. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to retain the same 5000 mAh battery as the S25 Ultra will likely receive up to 7 major OS upgrades over its lifetime. As for the release date, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to be unveiled at Samsung's unpacked event in early 2025, likely in January or February. Pricing remains a mystery, but some reports suggest that the Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset could drive up costs by around 20%, potentially making the S25 Ultra more expensive than the S24 Ultra, which started at $1,299. With all these exciting upgrades, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is shaping up to be a powerhouse device that could redefine the flagship smartphone market in 2025. Stay tuned for more updates as the official launch approaches. Now let's dive into the exciting showdown between two of the biggest heavyweights in the smartphone world. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both of these phones push the boundaries of mobile technology, offering cutting-edge features and exceptional performance. But which one takes the crown as the best big phone of 2024? Let's dive in and compare them side by side. Design. Starting with the design, both phones have distinct looks that reflect their brand identities. The iPhone 16 Pro Max stays true to Apple's iconic rectangular shape with flat sides and soft corners. This year, it features an even slimmer bezel, allowing for a larger 6.9-inch display. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, keeps its sleek, curved edges and integrates the ever-popular S Pen, a feature unique to Samsung's Ultra series. Size-wise, the differences are minimal. The iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 163mm x 77.6mm, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly shorter but a bit wider at 162.3 millimeters x 79 millimeters. That extra width allows room for the S Pen, which gives Samsung an edge in productivity. Apple, however, introduces something new this year, the camera control button, 
a capacitive touch key that allows for zooming and other camera controls with a swipe. When it comes to color options, Apple sticks with its sophisticated muted tones, white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Samsung goes for more variety with options like titanium violet and yellow. And for those ordering through Samsung's website, you get access to exclusive colors like titanium blue and green. Display, now onto the display. Both phones deliver top tier screen technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts a 6.9 inch LED display with a buttery smooth 120 Hertz refresh rate. As with the iPhone 15 Pro series, you also get the always on display feature, which lowers the refresh rate to just one Hertz when the phone is idle. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind with its stunning 6.8 inch AMOLED display that also supports 120 Hertz refresh rates and an always on feature. One advantage Samsung brings is an anti-reflective coating, making outdoor visibility much easier in bright sunlight, something the iPhone lacks. Both displays are breathtakingly vibrant, but there are subtle differences in color. The iPhone 16 Pro Max tends to lean towards warmer yellowish tones, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a cooler, more tealish hue. A standout feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop its brightness to just one nit for easier nighttime viewing, great for late night scrolling. Performance, now let's talk about what's under the hood. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second generation three nanometer process. This makes it incredibly efficient with significant improvements in heat dissipation and sustained performance compared to its predecessor, the A17 Pro chip. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra is no slouch either. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, custom tuned for Galaxy devices. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performs well, especially in gaming and graphics intensive tasks, it tends to throttle a bit sooner than Apple's A18 Pro under extreme stress. In benchmark tests, the iPhone 16 Pro Max leads in CPU performance, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes the edge in 3D graphics, scoring slightly higher in peak performance. However, Apple's new chip excels in long-term sustained performance, so if you're planning on pushing your phone to its limits, the iPhone may have a slight edge. Camera next, let's discuss one of the most critical aspects of any flagship phone, the cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 48 megapixel main sensor paired with a new 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 5x optical zoom. Apple has also introduced a new lens coating to minimize lens flare, addressing a common complaint in previous models. On the flip side, Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra brings its camera game with a 200 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel zoom lens, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Samsung has packed in more megapixels, but remember, megapixels aren't everything. The iPhone tends to produce more natural looking photos, whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra sometimes leans into oversaturation, delivering more vibrant images. In low light photography, both phones perform exceptionally well but Samsung's larger sensor can capture more detail in some scenarios. For video, the iPhone takes the crown with its 4K recording at 120 frames per second, ideal for capturing stunning slow motion footage. While Samsung's camera app offers tons of customization, Apple's new camera control button provides a more intuitive experience for videographers. Battery life and charging. In terms of battery life, the iPhone 16 Pro Max packs a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra edges it out with a 5,000 mAh battery. Both phones are more than capable of lasting through a day of heavy use, but Samsung's slightly larger battery may give it a slight advantage. When it comes to charging, Samsung takes the lead. The Galaxy S24 Ultra supports 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt charging speed. Samsung also has reverse wireless charging, which allows you to charge other devices like earbuds on the back of your phone, something Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't offer. Software. Lastly, let's compare software. Both iOS and One UI are polished, mature operating systems, but they offer different user experiences. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is a fantastic choice. But if you're looking for more customization options, better charging speeds, and love the idea of an S Pen, the Galaxy S24 Ultra might be the perfect phone for you. Ultimately, both of these phones are top tier devices with a ton to offer. Whichever one you choose, you're getting a powerful, feature-packed smartphone that will keep you ahead of the curve in 2024.